Hey everybody. I hope you're having a great Friday. Um, I have on just about a minute early because I'll start right at nine, but I kind of want to show you the tools I have here today and explain to you what I'm doing. And I'm sorry if I go in and out of shadows, I'm in my bedroom window and we got trees in the back and the sun's still kind of peeking through. Okay. So what I'm going to show you today is I have two of our new cream shadows. I have, this is sepia, sepia, and this is dusk. So sort of like a, to me, it's sort of like a mauve brown shimmer. They both have a little bit of shimmer. All the creams shadows have shimmer in them. I have our concealer. Micah's jumping on my bed in the background. I have our mascara and I have our mattifying powder. So let me first talk about the cream shadows. So the cream shadows, I forget how many shades there are, maybe eight to 10. They all have a little bit of shimmer in them. I don't know if you can, the lighting is bad, but just like a little bit of um, a nice little glow. I personally love this because even if you're not a, I know a lot of people like want that matte look um, that you get from powder eyeshadows. It is super subtle. And I know some of the images that are out there, it's like this big, like shiny eye and it's gorgeous a lot of times, but that's a lot of applications. And I find that it just gives me a nice little glow and it makes my eyes pop a little more. Um, that's what I really like about our blush kind of does the same thing. It has just a little bit of a shine to it. And so that every time that you smile, it just sort of like bounces off your eyes and off your cheeks. Um, so don't let that scare you. And a little bit about the cream shadows. So I find, number one, that my fingers are the best applicators for them. Because then I can kind of dot. I'm not, you don't ever want to like pull on your eye. But I can kind of blend the best there. Or a blender ball. I'm sure you could get an eyebrow, um, an eyeshadow brush for your lid for them. I just haven't personally done that yet. <laughs> There's Micah. Um, let me pull this down a little bit more. Ooh, there we go. Micah, thank you. Okay, so one thing I have noticed with them, though, okay, one thing I have noticed about them, though, is that I was, that throughout the day, I, I think it was about two weeks ago, I looked in the mirror about three o'clock, and I maybe put them on about eight o'clock, and I was like, it doesn't look like I have anything on. Like, it was gone, and I don't have anything on right now. Um, and then I started doing a little more research and you all that do makeup and no makeup more than me, you probably know this, but, um, if you have oily lids, I had no idea I did, but this was an indicator because my eyeshadow cream was gone. If you have oily lids, it may disappear over time. So, or over the course of the day. And I think at the time I was just like, oh, I must've rubbed it off. And so I just got it out and wiped it on again. Good to go. But <laughs> what I'm going to show you, no, no, no. What I'm going to show you today is how to get that to stay. And I tested this and it worked. So let me get right into it. So the first thing you do, take your concealer and you're going to put that. This is a little more, you're going to put it on your eyes. This is a little more um, time intensive. Some of you are like, I've been doing this for years. It's fine. I, this is extra steps for me. So and I'm going to dot it on. Oh my god. Ham. 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 Okay. Ham. And this is going to give a nice base whoop, for your shadow. Nice base for your shadow. And I apologize if I'm doing this in my window, don't have a mirror. Okay. Remind me, I have a tip about um, concealer and lip, lip color at the end. So let that sit for a second. So you start with your concealer. And you know, if I wanted to, I could go all the way up here, wherever you want that to stay on there. Then what I'm gonna do is take my setting powder. This is our mattifying powder. This is really great in the summer if you want foundation, but your skin gets kind of oily or it gets shiny right here. This, I put the mattifying powder on when I know I want foundation on, but I'm gonna be outside or I don't want to appear greasy. There we go. That's better. So it is a white powder. There we go. Butter. And I'm just going to dot it. Woo. That's a lot. <laughs> How much was it? Too much. But I'm just going to swipe it across. And you see it blends in. So it's not like a big deal if you get too much. 
Can I try? No, you want to try mattifying powder? No, not on Oh, me. on I me? Just, no, just dot it. You want to dot it on me? No, I just want to. Oh, you want to tap it? Good job. Mm -hmm. You can put it on me? Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Okay, so. Put my shade down. Okay, so it's not going to leave your eyes white, but if you have any kind of setting powder, that goes on next. So concealer, mattifying powder. And this, our mattifying power can go on your whole face. Um, but I just put on my lids. Okay, so now I'm going to demo these. Again, this is Dusk. This is sort of like a, I would say, a mauve brown copper. Um, and I was a little intimidated to buy this, but I knew I wanted a darker shade. So this is like a nice little doe foot applicator. I'm going to assume this is dry. I'm going to swipe. Is Dad home? No. I'm going to swipe first. Nobody. Why? Because. And then I'll blend. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look funny, Micah? No. <laughs> your, your face looks funny. My face looks funny. Okay. So. I'm going to show you how to put two of these on at once. Okay. So. I'm going to blend it in. This is not going to be perfect, obviously, with my finger in the in the window um and the great thing about these is that they are really forgiving I am not somebody that loves a harsh eyeshadow line I don't wear um eyeliner because I just never grew up wearing it and I now putting it on it just doesn't look like me to me okay so just did kind of like the hoods of my eyes All right, so there we go. Kind of blend it up. And then I'm going to take this sepia color, which is really pretty. This is one of my favorites. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not sepia. This is Aura. Dusk and Aura. I must have not tried sepia yet. So Aura looks very, like, lustrous, very um, light. Careful. What are you doing with that? Um, another thing, when you bring this out, I'm not like wiping off the product because I can blend it in. Some people do that with their mascara or with, I mean, cause you see it in there. It's like, that just is sort of like a response because that's what I've always done with, if there's a lot of on my mascara wand or a lot on these, but you don't need to do that. Micah, be careful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. All right. So this is aura and I'm going to go where I left off. So I'm going to go up and above all the way up here to my brow line and you can either dip again or flip it over to the other side Whoop. but again these are super forgiving Anula. i want to swim it oh you got it on your hands okay let's wait just a second okay all right so Anula. <laughs> it's Anula. Anora okay. and Pusha. Okay. <laughs> Anora and Pusha. Hey, come on, some of the lens. Big Brother is back to school. Big so. <laughs> This is our life. <laughs> and if you don't like the... Okay, shh, for a second. If you don't like how you did it, add more to the top of it. It's not going to... I mean, you can see... You could see how much of that darker shade I added and how subtle it is. But if you, I'll take a picture in a mirror and post it just so you can see because this is really bright um, sunlight and you're not often going to look like that. But if I wanted just a little bit more, let's add this a little bit more of Aura. Blend it right on. Mommy, so, so high is Pusha. That is not a word. Don't use this. And then I'm going to finish it with our new mascara. And I want to talk about that for just a second because our new mascara. I'm opening it for you. I know. I don't need it though. Thank you. Oh, okay. Shut it. Okay. So I'm going to finish with our new mascara. Can I open it? Nope. Do you know how to open it? So our mascara <sighs> is great. But I want to tell you, too, if you have oily <gasps> eyes and that lids and you rub your eye a lot, it's going to run. It's going to come off. 
another use for the mattifying powder is to kind of put it under here, blink a couple times. I've been reading that mattifying powder can help too. I have not found that problem. I can rub my eyes a lot because I wear contacts, but for the most part, it's gonna it's giving me lift and it's giving me that pop that I don't normally get. Okay, just a second, almost done. And I'm gonna show you one coat, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna show you two. So this is our new wand. Careful. You can already see the difference between this and this. And I have, um, I would say middle, middle range. I mean, <laughs> that's one coat and I'm not a mascara person. So if you are a mascara person and you really want them to pop, I'm actually not going to put on two coats because this is a lot for me being at home today. <laughs> Um, so I'm hiding is the pusha. Okay, this is long lasting. Again, if you find that it's running, um, mattifying powder can help. And in fact, I might put a little bit on, I might just even, here, let's see if I can do this. Put a little bit on the end of my brush and just blink into it. We'll see how that lasts. I'll let you guys know how that lasts all day. But there you go. Um, I'll take a picture so you can kind of see the shadow a little bit better. And the pusha. All right. Mom. One other little tip I have that I said I would get back to is our concealer. If you buy, we have color intense lipsticks, which are going to be really, really, nope, don't open that, really vibrant. They're going to stay all day. You have the Sheer Genius, which are more nourishing. They are less pigment. Those are the clear, or the clear, the white bottles, um, like off-white tubes. They're, they're full of vanilla. They're almost like a tinted chapstick more, which I really like. And then you have the glosses. If you <laughs> find that your, I find the color intense stays all day, but I, but it could, it starts to kind of look, um, or I'm sorry. If you find that you order a shade and hold on, I need this. I need this one. And it doesn't look the same on you that it looked on somebody else or the model that you saw. Oh. This Mom, can one. I open it? Nope, I'm not opening it. I'm not opening it. Add concealer to your lips first. So add concealer to your lips first. Let that set. Again, when you're doing it on your lids, when you're doing it, I didn't let it sit as long as I should have, but I was trying to get through this video. Put concealer on your lips first. Just dot it on, rub it in with your finger, let it set, and then apply your lip shade for the day. And that should I give you that. the true shade of the color you're going for. All of our lips are different shades. Some of you have, you know, and like shapes. Some of you have like a thinner line. You have a bigger bottom lip. It's maybe a pale pink or it's more orange or it's a really a bright pink. So your shades are going to look different. And if you see someone wearing a shade or you see a model wearing a shade, her pigment is going to come through that as different than yours. So neutralize it. Add that concealer. Dot it on. Rub. Set. And then add your lipstick and see if you don't get that true shade you're going for. Okay. I think that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know no. if you have any questions oh my God. The about the cream shadows. I'll take a picture at the end of the day and show you to, to let you know how it looks, how it stays, and my mascara. Um, I believe there. So all the shades are available right now. I believe they're, don't quote me, $24. And they're going to last you quite a long time, these little guys. Um, we are also coming out with cream blushes that are replaceable. So the little compact will pop out when you're done. You can get a replace one of a different shade for cheaper, which is awesome. So those are coming out. I believe um, I'm getting mine in the end of August or the next week or so. And then maybe September's when those launch. And we're also launching a um, glow serum that goes on after your makeup that has little like beads in it. I haven't gotten that one yet, but it looks amazing and people are raving about it so far. So cream blushes, which is like when you're going to rub and dot on. And this is all in our process to get rid of talc in our products, which is in a lot of powder products. And we just find that the cream shadows just look so much more luxurious. Um, they're cheaper, like this little guy versus the big palette that we used to have with, you would use two or three shades and you wouldn't use any other ones. I've got one now that I'm like Mommy. down to the end of one and the rest of them are full. So these you can mix and match Mommy. and it's not like you're not spending $70 on a palette to use one or two shades. So you can mix and match for cheaper. Mommy. The blush is the same way, more sustainable, 
we can recycle them, we can replace them. You don't have to get a whole new compact every single time. Um, so that's coming up too. And then holiday is in September, which is a lot of new products, Mommy. a lot of fan favorites and new products. And some of them end up staying in the Mommy. lineup. Like Mommy. these guys were a holiday product Mommy. for several years and now they're a full, Mommy. hold on. Okay, you can show it to him one more time. No, I no, I want you to show it. Okay, I'll show it. No, Mike, okay. I'm going to open it. But I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. Let me know what questions you have. And, um, yeah, if you need help ordering anything um, in August, let me know. Thank you, Micah. Micah wanted you to show this. Can you say bye? Yeah. Say bye. bye. Can you but, look at the camera no, and say bye? I know I wanted you to. Oh, I'm not going to use it. Have a good day, guys.